Today we're installing a Magjax fishing pole holder kit designed to fit a Genesis 150 seat kit with a grab bar. Included in the kit is the mounting bracket, the fishing pole holder itself, and hardware. To do this, we're going to use a 14 millimeter socket, a 13 millimeter wrench, 11 32nd drill bit, and two cordless drills. Now let's get started. I'm going to tell you about the bracket here. You'll notice on the top side of the bracket there's countersunk holes. Using the countersunk hardware provided, we're going to insert the bolts into the countersunk holes and through to the front of the fishing pole holder. Then we're going to secure it. We're going to take the bracket, make sure the tabs are pointed away from the fishing pole holder. We're also going to use the top mounts of the fishing pole holder to attach the bracket. Once both bolts are in place, then we're going to tighten. For this application, you must have a Magex rear seat kit grab bar installed. If you look on the back side of the bracket here, you'll notice two bent tabs. These will go on the outside of the grab bar. We recommend mounting the fishing pole holder as low as possible for clearance, but you want to make sure that the bottom side of the fishing pole holder is touching the flat surface here of the grab bar. Once you have it in place, we're going to use a torpedo level, make sure it's level, and then mark our holes located on the bent side of the bracket. Once you have your holes marked, we're going to use our safety glasses and a cordless drill with 11 30 seconds bit and drill all the way through both sides of the grab bar. Using the 8 by 40 millimeter bolts, we're going to secure our fishing pole holder and the bracket to the grab bar. Once both bolts are in place, then tighten. Once both bolts are in place, you're now finished installing your Magjax fishing pole holder kit designed for the Genesis 150 rear grab bar. 